sitting down. I'm sitting down in the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so badass. So that is so cool. With exception of the planet behind us, that kind of breaks the effect. We're in the warp. That is so cool, and it just stays it's just like permanent. That. Yeah, it stays like that. <laughs> you can walk around the ship, and it'll stay. That like is that. good for s for role theories. play and filming. Yeah, yeah, it is. You can just look out it's... the windows, and it's in the warp. You can even look out the back. You can see it going backwards. You know, you can see yeah. the warp behind you, which you never get to see when you're actually jumping. Just hide that planet. The... Hide that planet. Um, and 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 yeah, like I say, there's your ship. That's so cool. Welcome back, everyone. I am sitting here with Metal Rain, and we're in the Freedom. Oh, yeah, he's yeah. nodding. And I'm sitting here in the Han Woo! Solo skin, and we are going to check out his ship. Hopefully, the awesomely useless shaders, um, which is totally overpowered, won't blind us. Let's get on with it, man. Show me the show me the ropes. I need to see the ship. Show me the ship. Show me the ship. Okay, okay, okay. Well, okay, we'll okay. start quick, quick, facing quick. this go, way. Go, go, go. Do you have a this faction? Is... Okay, show me a gravity block as well. Oh no, actually, it okay. doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. Let's go. Let's okay. go. Well, this is the server room. This, <laughs> this is, is the server, server room. room. I love it, yeah. mate. Look at this. Now, wow, these it's are, all shiny. These, I've got these the are supposed to be. Whoa. These are supposed to be placeholders. That they're meant for weapons, computers, and logic systems and stuff like that. But it just came out better like this. Oh, yeah. This is immense. So, and Purple, it, go, it runs green. all the way to the back of the ship. Let's go. All the way Let's to go. the back. Okay. What else is at the back of the ship? Tell me all about it. There's a secret door back there. There's a what? A secret door? A secret door. A secret door. Secret door? Secret door. A door. A secret door. Oh my dirt god. Dirt. Okay, so basically we're gonna her to the back door. You know, the best part about having a long hallway like this is if you get out of your ship while it's moving and you're not in gravity, you yeah. can quickly align to it. Ah, and you can press space on the many wall surfaces that appear. Okay, secret so we're at the back. Oh my god! It's a secret door. And we're gonna get a, a good look at the rest of the ship soon, so let's get back inside and uh have some more fun so all right as we going straight back to the other end are we yep all right I'm gonna that's pretty much all this, this always cam. is for ceiling cam <laughs> is faster than you oh god damn it ceiling cam is faster than you i can't how do you do that I, i'm hitting my head every time i try that i can fly i, did, I can I fly can't help her. i have rocket boots <laughs> well actually i, I wish don't. i had rocket boots i'm using uh Main character. Telekinesis. Tele yeah, that'll do. Sure, why not? Okay, where to next, <laughs> boss? Okay, well, we're gonna go to the um, storage room. Right. It, it I'm sounds using very a modified shader, guys. So please don't sort of look at this and go, "Oh, that's so bright, it's stupid." Because I so am this using is... a modified shader. I've turned it off because it's so white in here. What's going on? <laughs> this is the uh, the storage room. Storage. The basic storage room. Looking very swish. Now, the, the lights you see on the ceiling, it's got emergency lighting for when in battles. It, everything turns red. Nice and red. Everything. Nice. We'll have to check that out on the way back. Ooh, this is the this? Uh, cargo cargo hold wow. in my cargo container. Oh. It opens and it has the chests. Many, many Plex yeah. storage boxes. Nice. And that obviously jumps out of this door. Yes. Oh, yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Hang on, I'm just going to back off. Jump up in the air, man. Whee! There you go. That's beautiful. I really like that. I love the door. Yeah, I, I, I planned a lot of this out pretty well. It took it only took me four days to build, but, you know. Where to next, so, boss? This, I, oh, this it's is all the, marked uh, out. Look at this. Yeah. All right, where I to? I take pride in that. This What's is this? the this is the waste treatment center. Okay. Oh, it's 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 actually it's is actually it, the is battle. Is it sterile bridge. in here? Is it sterile? No, yes. I don't know yes. if I want to go in there. It sounds it's, like. Are you sure? It's actually a trick. It's actually a trick. Don't worry. Oh, it's, it's a trick. It's, okay. It's it's actually the battle bridge. Lol. <laughs> no one would never it, notice. Exactly. So this is where all of your computer or some computers may be. Yep. This is autopilot up here. 
Autopilot, yeah. the ship, yep. With and then, the of course, block, the yeah. AI, yep. It's got the three buttons, it's got a safety, a primer, and then an activation switch to actually get it to go. Okay. Got to crank it. Safety. Yep. So, we go this way. This is an airlock right here. This, you know, airlocky things. Ooh, airlocks. I love it. Look at the craziness it was supposed of to the be, build. We'll take a it was look supposed at the to connect, in a minute. It was supposed to connect to a maintenance sh shaft that ran around all the outside of the ship, but I was too lazy to work on that. Okay. So we come up here. Uh, this is the lounge slash um, living quarters slash mess hall. This is my room right here. This is MTV Cribs, you know. Uh, I, I placed Starmate on this computer right here. <laughs> Excellent. Got a little window and everything. I love it. Nice, nice little room. All my faction members, I'm trying to get them to um, build their rooms in here. So a few of them have rooms already, like this one. Yeah. And I allow full customizability, so that's nice too. And then, of course, you get this little mood lighting down here that you can run across. Because, you know, sharp edges hurt when you hit your head on them, so it might as well smooth them all out. Oh, I see. you got glass over the top. Yeah. Nice! And then this right here, this glowing green thing, I found out if you, um... If you put, um... What is it called? The circuits in, behind glass, they turn invisible, so I use it as a holographic navigation screen. Oh, right, so you just pop a screen out, yeah. <laughs> uh, over here, we have the mess hall. Um, I fired my cook because he was selling some things. Ah, uh, why holes? He's been fired, everyone. Don't worry, no need for an attack. Yeah. So yeah, this is the kitchen. It's got that's a vent up there. Can you escape like James Bond? Oh, damn. No. Oh. Oh well, never mind. It's, <laughs> it's a scrubber. It's a scrubber. It just scrubs the stuff. It doesn't actually nice take view it anywhere. when you're eating your sandwiches. Of course. And this right here, this is for the uh, umbilical in the main entrance to the lounge area. And Very then right nice. here we got the we got a welcoming board right there. Welcome aboard. And then if you stand right here and look at it, and I'll press this button, and you'll see what Phantom made me do essentially a long time ago. So green means that the umbilical's ready. Red means it's not. And I oh. did this because one day Phantom forced me to build an umbilical cord on one of my ships, and I've been Ooh. doing it ever since. Ooh, an umbilical. Ooh, ooh, I love it. Yes, and go... all my ships come standard with it now. It goes all the way out to the edge of the box, yeah? Yes. Wicked. Right down to the block, do you find there's a half block on that that you have to leave, or is it just fit? It just fits. It, ish. It's, it's got some play. Got some play. Okay, where are we to next then? Okay, we're gonna go up to the top sec- the, the upper section. I mean, it's kind of hard to say upper sections since technically they're all modules and they're just all connected with hallways. But, you know, up. Only one way to go. This is the uh, shuttle bay. Well, yeah, this is the main shuttle bay. It's got two different types of shuttles. It's got a four-seater and a one-seater. And then at, le at least... You do not want to see what this... Look at this screenshot. <laughs> this is like the JJ, JJ Abrams <laughs> mod or something. Hang on, take the shader off. Ah, there we go, star made. But yeah, so I got this all you know going on. I leave two spots open because in case you know people want to join me on my ship, they have a free spot to park, and then that's what it looks like open. Let's have a look at it from out here. Get that shader back on. There we go. Very nice. I can't uh, wait to show you guys this detailing over here. Look at that beauty. Oh, not yet. I take pride. I take pride. Another thing is, it, people, it, wouldn't it be something you would notice first off? These shuttles fit exactly in a 7x7 seven seven area. 
problem is they slightly clip into walls for some odd reason. So to compensate for that, I actually um, slanted the walls right there so they wouldn't collide. Yeah. It was, it was the only way it would work. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, it's interesting. It does seem to stick over a little bit there. Who knows? It, it's just ever so... It's just enough to cause it to, like, spaz out. Trip out, yeah. But I think it added a nice, like, look to it. Nothing all down that way? Like that. No, just a window. The best window. Because you can see the Y. And the purple awesome. Alright, cool. Let's go. So, of course, you know how I, I, I love meta when it comes to, you know, thrusters and stuff like that. With my uh, Insidious drive and whatnot. This is the this is the exploration bridge. It's the primary bridge that's used. Got a navigation area right here. Lockdown Ooh. mode, the insidious drive, and then of course mission log, Ooh. ship log, damage log, captain and crew names go there, and it shows the power and everything else right there. This is the um, autopilot for the upper bridge. Drone launch, pulse drive. And then obviously on the other side you had the insidious drive and lockdown. Nice. <laughs> yes. This right here, these are for the drones that are underneath us. They're uh, they're called sentries. Um, they pack a punch, and they also have their own autopilot system. So even if they're not locked onto an enemy target, you can launch them towards something, and they'll eventually lock on. This one up here, this button right here for the exploration drone, that one's not only the exploration drone, but um, a distraction and also to get rid of my garbage, my excess blocks I don't like. I just toss it in and just launch it. And then, of course, swarm missiles, except for the fact that I don't have it connected because of safety problems with it. So yeah, this is the exploration bridge. I spend most of my time in here, more than anywhere. And good morning, everybody watching on Twitch. Just doing a ship review this, with Metal Rain 300. This is the um, medical uh, bay. Okay. So of course we got you know the seats, the beds for the med, you know, the sick. Yep. Uh, up here we have the uh, cryo tubes. This should be more than enough for everyone on board the ship. Nice. There's like, there's nine bedrooms <coughs> and I think there's 12 cryo tubes, so more than enough. Way more than enough. And of course, you just got a little area where, you know, the nurses and doctors can work and a table they can talk and eat at. Because, you know, they deserve some respect too. You always want, you always want to respect your doctors. Up here, we've got um, the theater. They're, they're playing, uh, they, it appears they are playing Lost in Space. Uh, yesterday they were playing Godzilla. So we go on here. This is the little theater. Mate, needs to be a green screen. Oh, yeah, that's, working, that's a work in progress. That's why... Why uh, aren't you playing Star that. Wars? Or Indiana Star Jones? Wars, Star Wars is too obvious. Or, or in, in, <laughs> what about Indiana Jones? That's a good... That's a, Actually, I have a friend of mine that's working on making an animated screen for me using Logic. What about so. Patriot Games? Patriot Games? I've never heard that one before. No? No. Uh, Sounds what interesting, about, though. What about Clear and Present Danger? Um, that one got lost in um, a battle. Mm. Out of the entire uh, ship, okay. nothing on the ship got damaged but that one tape. <laughs> yeah. Alright, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm in so, a I'm in a hand solo skin. It had to happen. So if you, if you come over here, we got the bathrooms. They're they they're self they're self sufficient and they're able to unclog themselves in case of any scenario of you know chilly night and stuff like that. Nice. Okay. Nice. Meeting room. This is my meeting room. It's where I conduct, you know, my uh, meetings, my meetings, and various other events. And strategically placed over here, 
is a bar. So oh God, I can a... have the benefit of the doubt when it comes to people I'm meeting with. Lol. Well. That is the trick to winning an argument. Just pump them full of alcohol and you know it's all good by then. So we go over here. We've got the uh, diplomat's office. So whatever sector you're in, whoever is the diplomat for that, you know, sector, they, they can chill in here if they want to. This is the secretary's desk, and then in here is the um, main office. As you know, diplomatic stuff. Mm. And I don't know why, but Plex stars on the on the top like that with glass, it glitches out and makes it see through. So it's not, like it's not even there. But there's glass there. Uh -huh. There's glass there. And so we come over here and we have the uh, bio biodome. Ooh. And oh, very nice. Slate actually worked on the terrain for him because he insisted on it. So he did the terrain itself, but the lighting and the uh, the sunlit clouds and everything else I did. Yes, I remember them. I put them in my migraine trigger thirty. Yes, and then if I go and if I put the ship in lockdown mode, it t it turns from daytime to uh, sunset mode here, which is really nice. It took me a while to get the mood lighting right, but I got it just right. Would you like to see it? Yes. All right, then we go uh, press the uh, lockdown button. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's a pond in there if you want to go find that. A pond? There's a pond, yes. Oh, it is bigger than I expected. Oh. <laughs> Are you ready for sunset mode? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's very well done, mate. Sunset mode. It's, a, it's the reason why I like the bar line. I use it a lot in my newer builds because I can, I'm can. i able to get colors that you normally wouldn't be able to get in the game through them. Yep, that's true. <laughs> and this is a uh, good proof of it. So logic using certain lights. I love it. It's beautiful, yeah. actually. New concept for lighting. Oh, I've got to do the swatch again. So where are you? <laughs> I'm right here. I'm behind you. Right here. Where are you? 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 Right here. Where are you? Where are you? Okay. Let's go. Okay. So, now we'll walk through the ship with the lockdown mode, because that's... Oh, my God. Everything seems to change in lockdown Everything mode. Everything's All windows are covered. And red. Yep. Armored in oh. red. Everything. Everything. Every even window. The bar. Even the bar. Even the bar. The meeting room as well. Even and the, the bathroom. Room. Even the bathroom. I'm going to go downstairs. Wait, this corridor is green. It's because there's um, a power conduit that runs through it that you wouldn't normally see when with all the lights on, but you can see it with the lights off. Okay, Chief. I believe you. <laughs> Where to? So, uh, I'll turn off the... Uh, actually, I'll just leave the, the yeah, lockdown just leave it on. on. Well, that's the, pretty much the basics of the ship. I mean, okay. we just went through it from back to front. It's a very straightforward ship in that department. But you can actually see every location on the ship does, in fact, have the emergency lighting. Yes. The only place that doesn't is the core room and the server room. Yeah. But there's... No one's going to be in there so. anyways. Alright, I'm going to head outside and show the good people at home what we are dealing with here. So, shaders on. Sp pop a core. And you can see the lockdown mode from the outside as well. Yep, I'm going to go around it once. Check out lockdown. So we'll go around it nice and close first. Check out all that exterior detailing. Are you inside the ship right now? Yeah, I'm in the core. Does it have a jump drive? Uh, yes it does. Start charging it uh, up, because we'll finish this with a jump out. Okay. Look at this. It's been featured on lineup already, hasn't it? But it's oh, modified. Yeah. yeah. 
We never Actually, got a chance it hasn't been modified since. Well, we never got a chance to look at the insides, did we? No. Okay, we're nearly ready. I'm just going for the long pass now. And I'll be sure to open up the uh, engine itself when we uh, go off into war. The insidious drive. In fact, I don't think I need to, because what I'm going to do is something more awesome. Okay, I think I know what you're talking so about. basically this is going to be the... What's the name of the ship, dude? Yeah. DFS Freedom. The DFS Freedom by Metal Rain 300. And I think we found a good place. So, let's get out of this, select the core, and we. So he's gone, and then, just to make it even more awesome, Is that working? Oh yeah. All right. That's working. Would you like to do the honors of navigating us through this wormhole? Of course. Of course. And I just need to get to the core. I look back round at the ship. And there we have it. A little bit of cutting and we should be sorted. So off he goes into the galaxy. So thanks again everyone. See you all next time.